In today's video, we're gonna have a look at two tools and compare them, they're AI video creation tools. So the first one is called NVIDIA AI and the second one is called Auto Shorts AI, okay? So both of them create a video for you, but the actual output of the video is quite different, so I want to show you that in this video. So the first tool we have here is called NVIDIA AI, okay? You can see here, all you need to do is put in your prompt and then you create a, a new video for yourself. And this takes stock footage like this and adds music and an AI voiceover. So let's have a look at how it works now when we log in. I'll leave links to these tools in the description and the first comment so you can sign up when you want. So this is what NVIDIA AI looks like inside. Okay, all you have to do is describe the video that you want and then you can generate it afterwards. So I'll just have a look at some of the videos I've already created. So this is one of the videos I created here. You can also edit it or use this magic editor here to just change any part of it. You don't like the, the voiceover, the script, the stock footage, the music, all that stuff. So it's pretty easy to use. Just you can also go in manually and say, okay, I don't like this one. I don't like that one don't like this word, you can edit the script and choose new stock footage or rewrite it as you wish. So it's a really, really cool tool for a faceless YouTube channel. There are some really cool uh, channels that do this and you can see it has 1.2 million views. Okay, so you might not be able to get this quality from the tool, but this is just some inspiration for you. This is a completely faceless channel. This is probably the same, right? It's got 4.3 million views, okay? Um, so. Try to use this as inspiration and let's talk about Auto Shorts AI. So this is what Auto Shorts AI looks like inside. So they just automatically create a video for you here, a short video, right? They only do short videos. The cool aspect of this is that it adds captions or zoom ins and AI images and yeah, it's, it's pretty interesting, all right? I've tried out uh, probably about 20 of these videos and unfortunately they're not doing very well. So that's one downside of this tool is that, yeah, I don't really know if people actually enjoy this type of content. It is quite good content, but really it's kind of, you know, does anyone really want to listen to something like this? You have to write the script yourself and do the description and the title and think of a niche that will work for you. My favorite aspect about this tool is that it auto publishes to YouTube. So I publish a video, a short form video every day with this tool. I don't need to do anything at all, okay? Unfortunately, that's kind of the downside of AI, right? If you just let it do its thing, it's not really going to be able to create something really unique and interesting that people want to watch. Auto Shorts actually make some shorts. You can see some examples here. And yeah, some of them don't do very well, but look, as you can see here, this one has 10K views. That's pretty crazy. So I think this is about Greeks and Romans or stuff like that, is it? I'm not too sure. But I know that Roman videos do well, but yeah, so they are actually doing pretty well. So if you find the right niche, it can work. But for me, I think it's actually better to make videos yourself, put in that extra effort. I think that's what you see when you see a really good video that does really, really well on YouTube. It's usually because there's a lot of creativity and, you know, AI is a tool, right? So we can use something like this, but I think we have to add our own special knowledge and experience to it. So that's my comparison of NVIDIA AI versus Auto Shorts AI. They're quite a little bit different, right? If you think about it, this one is mainly about the, the stock footage, right? You're not gonna use that. In this case, it's more AI images. So yeah, it's gonna be for more dramatic stuff and this could be better for more educational content. I think that's the main difference uh, with these two tools. So check them out in the first comment down below and I'll see you in the next video.